Every video editor has asked the question, how can I edit videos faster? And hopefully I can guide you in the right direction today because it is a crucial question. The more time you spend editing a video, the less time you have to spend creating other videos, which means less content, you make less money, you have less of a social life, all bad things. Everything that I will teach you here will bring so much time back into your life that you'll have more time to do the things you love and create more content. So let's jump right into the first thing you need to implement, which is file management. I know it sounds remarkably boring, but trust me, it is worth it. And you will then me later. So here's the structure that I use to manage my projects currently. So the way I do this is I have a template that I can just copy and paste so that I can reuse it for any new project I want to start. Then all I have to do is rename the folder and start adding the assets that I want. The second thing, which is also probably the second most important thing on this list, is plugins. If you are not using plugins yet in your workflow, you are missing out. Now there are free plugins that you can use like the Mr. Horse free trial. Mr. Horse also has a paid plugin that I would highly recommend, although it is a monthly fee. There are also plugins like Autopod or Firecut which help automatically cut up your videos. With Autopod, if you're editing a podcast, it will automatically cut up that podcast based on who is speaking. And there are so many other cool features with these plugins. You can also find a few really good plugins from the Knights of the Editing Table. They have some pretty cool plugins that allow you to do things like sync files directly to your Premiere Pro project or search for effects within Premiere without having to go to the effects panel manually. So as you can see, these start to add up and save you a ton of time in your process. The third thing, which also ties in with plugins, stock footage. Now you can find free sites like Pexels is one I really like to use that have free video stock footage and free photos. However, if you want more variety and more options, you might want to go with something like Storyblocks. And like I said, this ties in with plugins. So Storyblocks actually has a direct plugin in Premiere Pro. So you can find the stock footage within your project without even having to go to the website itself. Then you can directly download it for use in your project. Amazing, right? And this saves a ton of time of having to download it from the website, drag it into your files, and then drag it into Premiere. Next, we have shortcuts. Now, this is something that everyone should be using because they're free and all it takes is a little bit of time to dedicate them to muscle memory. And once you have these down, these end up saving hours on each project. Some shortcuts that I would recommend you learning, no matter what software you're using, are shortcuts that speed up the process of your raw footage cutting, applying effects and transitions to your clips, and creating markers in your projects. However, there are so, so many more. And if you use Adobe Premiere, check out this video on five shortcuts that will save you a ton of time. Next, we have proxies. If you are using really high resolution footage or the system that you edit on is just not very good and it struggles to run when you play back simple footage, then I would highly recommend using proxies. Proxies are just basically smaller, lower quality versions of your video and your editing software uses it to preview your edits and play back much smoother. Like I said, it's a must have with high resolution footage or if your system just can't handle very much. The next one, and this might be controversial, but I would recommend investing in a second monitor. Think about it like this. Even if you're a very experienced video editor, you're often going to go to YouTube or somewhere else to figure out how to do things. Maybe you want to figure out how to do a text animation, for example. If you have one monitor, you have to pull up that screen every time you want to watch something. But if you have a second monitor, you can just have it open on the other side all the time. Another thing is that when you're dealing with files, it's nice to just have your files open on the other screen so you can manage them a lot easier. This is a big investment, but there are some cheaper options out there. Again, this depends on the quality you want to achieve and your budget plays a big factor in the quality of the monitor that you can get. And adding on to the idea of watching videos on the side, that is another thing that you will need to speed up your workflow. Even if you're very experienced already, you can always keep learning from other editors on YouTube or other platforms. If you're inexperienced, then you have to build that foundation. Once you build that foundation, video editing will become so much easier and you can really bring your visions to life. And last but not least, using templates, presets, and mogurts. With templates, or mogurts as Adobe calls them, you can speed up your workflow using pre-made animations from places like Motion Array, or you can even make your own. I usually make mine in After Effects and then export them and use them in Premiere. And those are the Mogurts that I was talking about. And these title screens that I've been using in this video were all made with Mogurts. Because if I had to remake them every single time, that would just be a pain. Because this way I can just drag it and drop it to the place I want to use it, and all I have to do is change the title. For example, often when I'm making these title animations, I just create the base animation in After Effects, then I export it as a Mogurt, and then I can just use it by dragging and dropping on my Adobe Premiere file wherever I want the animation to be. And then we have presets. These might be things like text styles, LUTs, color grades, or anything else that you can just drag from your presets panel onto your clips. 
And this just makes it so that if there's an animation, if there's a color grade that you really, really like and want to keep using in future videos, then all you have to do is save it and then you can drag it onto any clip you would like in future projects. You do all the work up front once and then you can just use it down the line. So that's it. Yes, there are many other ways you can speed up your workflow, but these were just the most important ones that have saved me hours and hours of time. And I would love if there's anything important that you think I missed if you leave it down in the comments. I know that once I started implementing all of these within my workflow, projects that used to take me 20 hours to make are now taking me 10, and that is not an exaggeration. It is really key to build from that foundation where you're learning the basics into using plugins, using shortcuts, and those will just build on top of each other over time and exponentially make your video editing faster. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out this video too if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.